Hi, Dr. Mark Winnegar here with our screencast on laying out web pages using divisions. So, let's get started. I created a web page very much like one in our previous screencast, but this time I used different shades of green in honor of my alma mater, Michigan State University. Go Spartans! Now, the layout is exactly the same, but the way that we got there is a bit different and subtle. So let's go in and let's look at the code. We are in Text Wrangler, and we'll start looking at the bottom. Remember we said that we are using divisions. So we've got one great big division here that we're calling container. And I've indented my line so we can find where division ID container ends. All we've got to do is keep going down until we see division off tags that line up. Okay, I think you're starting to get the idea that just about everything here is contained within this division. That's why we called it container. We specify that its style is a width of 500 pixels. And that's the only attribute we give it besides its name. Then we start on the next division, and we're giving this an ID of header. We're saying that its style is a background color of a darker green. And then we come in, and we have our heading. We have an H1 with a style margin, bottom, zero. Our title is the Academy, and then we end the header, and that ends the division. Now that code right there is what gets us this top green header area with the word Academy. So let's go down. This next section is our menu. So the division name or division ID is menu. Its style is a background color of a little bit lighter green. Its height is 200 pixels, but its width is only 100 pixels. Now remember I told you our definition was subtle. The menu comes after the header, so it'll be below it. The whole container is 500 pixels wide, but this one is only using a hundred of the pixels, the first 100 from the left-hand margin, leaving 400 pixels for our text. Okay? And then we say float left, so our text is going to float to the left. Then we have our menu title, menu. We skip a couple of lines, and then we have our menu, of course, choices, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Perl. And that ends the division. So now, we know what this menu area looks like and how we got there. And we've only used this top header and the first 20% of the center section. So the next thing that we'll be talking about is this big text area. And that's the division with ID content. We give it a style background color, which is a very, very pale green. We make it 200 pixels high. 400 pixels wide, and we float left. And then we come in with our text. 
Again, I, after each paragraph, I'm putting in a couple of breaks so that we have separation between our paragraphs. And that's the end of the division. So that division created this text area on the right in the lightest green. All we've got left now is the bottom, or what you might call the footer area. By gosh, our ID is one. How about that? The style color is back to the darkest of the three greens we're using. The clearing bolt. We're aligning our text to the center. And we're putting on our copyright notice and we're ending the division. That ends our container division, which allows us to end the body and finally to end the page. So that's how we would get this layout using divisions. Or they use divisions or tables, you can accomplish a lot in laying out your web pages in different ways. Have fun with it.